<laughs> okay, so let's move on to Bloom Carroll Carol versus St. Clairsville. Anthony, do you want to start that one off? Um, Bloom Carroll's playing some great football. Um, they're an undefeated team. St. Clairsville's undefeated team. Collision course. Um, I actually expected Bloom to struggle at Licking Valley. Licking Valley's been a, a power in Division Four, Region 15. The last couple years, they've been a team to get past, but Bloom Carroll passed that test. They've got four shutouts on defense, so they're stingy. I think they got the shot. To, uh, got a shot to beat St. Clairsville, and I'm actually going to go Bloom over St. Clairsville because how good Bloom's defense is, and St. Clairsville's given up over 20 points five games this year. So I think it's going to come down to, you know, Bloom being a more balanced team. And uh, I think it's going to be huge for them to win a regional title. Coach Bartholomew's dad was a, a coach, and he kind of, you know, came up underneath him. And I think it'll be a big, big win for Bloom Carroll in that community. And I, I look forward to springboard him, hopefully, to a state championship game. I'm looking at stats for both teams last week, and it looks like – or both teams' games last week, and it looks like they both like to throw the ball. K.J. Benedict threw 22 times for 204 yards and two touchdowns for uh, Bloom Carroll. St. Clairsville's Tyler Tank, uh, Tonkovich threw 226 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception. I see a more throwing game in that one. Obviously, two undefeated teams. Um, but I'm actually looking at maybe St. Clairsville takes this one, maybe by a field goal, maybe by a touchdown. Obviously, it's going to be a close game. You always like to see two undefeated schools go up against each other because you don't know what they're going to bring, uh, whether it be maybe they run more, maybe they throw something else, maybe they go more options or screens or anything like that. Um, but last week, uh, total offensive yards for St. Clair as well, 396. That's a lot for, in my opinion, for a high school game. You might see that maybe a D2 college or anything like that. But for a high school, that's pretty impressive. Uh, so I might go St. Clair.